Hey guys, it's Trif Kujali here, and today we're back with a reaction to Devil Man Cry Baby episode 3. So yep, yeah, I watched uh, episode 1 and 2. Episode 2 we had uh, my other member of the Trophy Munchers disturb me. Um, no, he was alright, to be fair. Give a little insight to what he thought of the show. Um, yeah, I've said I enjoyed episode 1. Now I thought about episode 2 a bit more, I did actually enjoy it. Um, just get a bit more into the characters, didn't you? And showing that power, if power growth is. I am enjoying this. And someone put in the comments like, oh, so it ends. It ends uh, really well. So I'm also very curious. Because I could see if they put an order budget into an animation, like episode at the end of a, a season or something. Oh, they're going to look, look amazing. But I'm quite curious how it's going to end. So far, we don't know too much about why he's this uh, half demon thing. I guess because he's got. Because he still cries when he's in his demon form. So he still feels emotion then. Um, and yeah, and. How many demons infest the world? I'm guessing a lot. Yeah, so I'm guessing a lot of demons infest the world, so we're just going to see him kick ass, basically. I wonder where the story's going to go. Like, is it going to be in time to like, get used to the power or something, or is he just going to get straight into it now, him just killing demons? I'm curious. And it, will it have the romance in it? I'm curious if it's going to add a little cheeky bit of romance on top. But yeah, uh, let's get started. I watched episode two in dub uh, last week, because I just wanted to see what it was like. But, uh, this weekend, we're back to some. I did like the dub, though. It was pretty good. I just know more people prefer to have their subtitles on the bottom. Mm. This is going to hit the charts, mate. Oh, yeah, this guy's got the fucking evidence. I forgot about that. I only watched it yesterday. Man's going to get wrecked. Watch out, man's having a big movie night, isn't he? What was that about? Why does it look like GTA 5? GTA 1, sorry. Oh, let's see if anyone recognises who he is, yeah. Oh, is he a devil? Oh, mate. That look. Oh, I feel for the guy. How has he not noticed this? Or does he not feel it? Fucking hell, I got him bombing it. No, he just drowned to death. That's brutal. Did he enjoy it? I love how he just carries on. I'm curious. Well, how, explain. I want to know why how you make money. Fuck it out. He's got like a broken leg, mate. What about your phone? <laughs> but he's just like, for fuck's sake, can you stop, mate? Oh, she pissed because the guy was running fast. Alright, I'm most jealous of her. We just gotta keep draining, training harder, mate. Check this guy out, smooth player. I do like this little tune, mate, it's fucking savage. <laughs> mate, this guy. I should open the door. They bloody fooled me. <laughs> Still got the respect though. Takes off his shoes. Wouldn't you call the police at least? This guy don't give a shit. Look at the demons got moles. Of course. See, this is the sort of scene where your parents walk in. Oh, he's got the video, shit. God, this song's sick. Oh, is he a demon now? I thought he was going to kill him. <laughs> he gives him money. Fair enough. Smooth player. Oh, he's not totally a dick. There we go. God, I look very white in this camera. Oh, yeah, shit. Demon! Why'd you walk in rain in that outfit? Fuck. 
That's a bit fucking hell. Mate, this guy. What a creep. Demon! Oh shit, she's been taken over. That's crafty way of stealing footage. Oh yeah, I forgot. I keep forgetting everything. Look at that. like this hot bitch. I didn't realize that was the guy he was talking to. <laughs> that moon looks very close. She just strip it. What's her any need? Oh shit. Aren't we getting graphic? Oh shit. See you, man. Oh god. Right, this happy music just went really sadistic. <laughs> he looks more creepy. Oh god. And he did. Oh, what a pro. Wait, what are here, though? No, clever bastard. Give him that. Fucking <laughs> I look creepy as fuck. Mate, do the epic jump. Tackle it. Oh, mate. What a hero. Fucking hell, dog. What guy? What the fuck? That technically killed a demon, because technically, yeah, yeah. You fool. It's you. Oh, that would Kane. He's just like fucking evaporating him. Oh god, that he looks wildly. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> Forgive me! I won't tell anyone! <laughs> Get back, son. Suplex! Technically, you're a devil, though. Oh, that was satisfying. Oh, I did like that. Oh, he wouldn't know about the recording, would he? Oh, shit. It had to be done, mate. <laughs> that was pretty brutal, though. Ooh. Who's the real demon here? Oh, why does me get wrecked? This guy, just twenty-four-seven savage, ain't he? Oh no, shit! Don't try to kill the girl, mate. He's not gonna let her. Wait, is this their friendship now? I guess that work together. Oh shit. Does she know the secret though? She hasn't seen anything. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, is it gonna end there? Ooh, that cliffhanger though. Oh, mate, that was sick. I enjoyed that episode. See. 
I still think the guy with the white jacket is not bad, but that made him way more interesting than uh, him just being like a little sidekick to the demon guy. Just adds a bit more to his character, doesn't it? That the fact that like um, he was willing to do anything to keep it a secret, which I like that idea of. Technically, I don't see why I need to kill the girl because she didn't see anything. I understand why I might have had to kill that guy, but mate, you savaged the mum. That was sick. I didn't expect it. I thought he was gonna let her live, and I thought, oh mate, he changed his ways by giving the money, but no, he blew her up, mate. What? And I did like the bit where like, mate, he, just, he had the recording all set up and he could hear all the conversations when he called the phone. But I don't know how the phone answered. I'm guessing if he's a hacker, I don't know. Um, no, mate, I did enjoy that episode. A bit of conf it's added a bit of conflict between the main two already. We're in episode three. So yeah, normally I would think it'd be a bit fast paced, but I think the pacing of it's pretty nice so far. Like normally you wouldn't expect this to like episode seven or eight maybe, but hey, we're doing it pretty early on that little bit of conflict. I did like the demon who was just controlling people, but yeah no, the that was actually a really decent episode, I actually really enjoyed that one. I'll probably give that one a nice seven point nine. Maybe, yeah, nice seven point nine. Maybe an eight because the ending was did was worth it. Again, the last 10 minutes of the show was really good. And I, feel like, I like the first 10 minutes, to be fair, built up around. Um, we got to know a bit more about... I wonder what the girl with the ponytail is going to play, what role she's going to play in the show, because it seems that they've shown her a few times now. And I wonder if they're going to kill the girl. I'm assuming not, but if the, she do, if he doesn't kill her, that means that if he doesn't shoot her, does that mean they're going to start working together already? Which I don't know if that beats a bit soon, because I would... I think, like... I liked how they did the little bonding at the start with him in the apartment to got the personality. I think you needed a bit more... I think we still need a bit more of that to get to get more attached to their relationship. Instead of already, like... If this is just a small conflict, that's good. I don't know if this should fall out over this completely yet and just help her hold out for a few more episodes, but we will see. I did like his uh, little demon. Even though the running looked a bit silly, I actually didn't mind it, to be fair, because the last bit was pretty savage, so yeah. Like the video if you enjoyed this, and uh, subscribe if you want, if you want to see me. I'll be uploading this quite regularly because um, some anime have been delayed, so I'm going to be replacing with the anime what's been delayed for a few weeks. So yeah, uh, peace.